Hey guys, it's me, Rohan Singh, and today I'm going to talk about a book. But this book isn't a story or fictional book like when I reviewed Dune. This book is more of a studying book in which students can understand and write the concepts and questions of mathematics, especially for class 9 and class 10. In my opinion, this is one of the best books a child can practice in if he or she is having trouble in math. This book is NCRT Exemplar. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of NCRT Exemplar or not, but I do know that Adi Sharma and R.S. Agarwal are way more popular than this. A lot of people don't really seem to use this and they seem to go for R.D. Sharma and R.S. Agarwal. Both of those are very good options, I agree. But I still think that people should give this book a shot, as very few people I have seen use this book. Now, in this video, I'll give you guys different reasons why this book is actually pretty useful and you should, you know, buy it and try it and see if it works for you. The first reason which I'm going to discuss is value for money. Due to the various complications of this pandemic and lockdown, there might be some problems with the money in your family. And as a result, the you know, costly Aras Agarwal and Adi Sharma books might be you know, difficult for you to buy or afford. And as a result, you can't really buy, you know, get those books and you can't really understand the mathematics questions. And that's a problem. And you know, to this problem, I offer a solution, which is this book. This book barely costs 95 rupees in most of the places and it's pretty cheap and affordable especially for the things which it gives and the quality it has which is pretty surprising and high. This book is also decently long and isn't short by any means. It has a lot of questions. It has more than 300 pages. I'll go more into the quality of this book but let me say the cost of this book is nothing compared to the quality it gives. The text is easy to read and the solution this book gives is to the point. They do not waste your time in writing you know meaningless amounts of text just so they can explain a point they've explained or which can be explained in just one or two lines. This is a to the point book and very easy to understand, especially if you're having difficulty in maths because I know I did, but this book solved a lot of my queries. So if any of you out there have some trouble buying or affording the Adi Sharma or other costly mathematics or preparation books, then I suggest you this book as it's pretty cheap and the quality is still pretty high. The second feature which I'm going to talk about is meaningful questions here is something which i have a lot of problem with you know in many mathematic textbooks or even online exams uh, which are given by third party apps you'll notice that either the sums are very easy to the point which you think yeah these sums are too easy they won't come in the exam or these sums are so hard you think they are from a different class or grade or two above and it is because of these types of problems in which I have some trouble buying these books because I get these doubts in my head in which I'll think, okay, either this book will have, you know, really easy questions or really hard questions. And the thing is though that in your exams, there's a mix of both easy and hard. And just, you know, getting the easy part down or the hard part down does not mean that you still get good marks. You'll have to do a mix of both questions, a mixed bag in which there are some easy questions in which you'll be able to score easily or there will be some hard questions in which you have to, you know, solve diligently. This is a problem I think R.D. Sharma has as some of the questions in that book are way too hard and are clear that they won't be coming in the exam or are included in the syllabus, especially the level 2 questions, but I'll get into that in another video. This book doesn't have, you know, just easy questions or just hard questions. It has a mix of both, like the actual exam. And this will come very helpful because many people, either they solve the hard questions and they, you know, sometimes, you know, get perplexed by the easy questions. This thing happens. I have many friends who have gone through that and some, and some people who only solve the easy questions. And then the, you know, paper comes and they get both the easy and the hard questions. And because of the hard questions, they end up losing a lot of marks. So these type of situations might seem small, but they play a big role in you getting good marks in the exam. And since this book has quite a decent bunch or mix of questions, I recommend this book. The third feature which I'm going to discuss is detailed explanations. As I said before, the explanations of NCRT exemplar are to the point, but that does not mean that they are, you know, rushed through or it feels like there are some points or steps which are missing like there are in many other study books for maths. The solutions are actually pretty well written in this book. Now, let me tell you something. There are actually two versions of the NCRT exemplar. One is the original one, which was, you know, released by the NCRT. It looks like this. And uh, now it is this one, which well, looks like this. This one is actually published by Arihant. 
I'm sure you've heard of it. It's also a pretty big company. Now the difference between the original NCRT version and the Arihant version is that the NCRT version does not provide explanations to the answers like the exercises which it gives you, exercise 1.2, 1.3, it does not give any explanations to the questions. You'll have to write the questions and figure out the explanation of how to do the steps by yourself, which is pretty unintuitive in my opinion. And the major change with the Arihant edition is that it actually gives you detailed answers, the ones which were not present in the original NCRT version. As a result, I highly suggest that you actually go for the Arihant version. Now, the fourth and the last feature which I'm going to discuss for this video is variety this is also a major complaint which i receive and sometimes even you know get myself is that um, in many books or many test papers you don't get a variety of questions because sometimes you know in many books you might get uh, most of the questions might be theory related or most of them may be practical or pro proof related like if you've gone through class 9th or are going through it then you must know that there are many proof questions in which you have to prove okay it's, is a b equals to b c now prove this so in those type of questions you will see that there are some books which only focus on those type of questions while there are other books will focus on other questions such as the theory part in which you have to write down the various uh, theorems and and then explain okay how does this theorem fit into this diagram and how it will make it work and how it makes a equals to b you know i'm just giving you an example but this is how it works this book has a variety of questions which focus both on the proof parts and the theory parts as a result it's way more mixed and you know works into my earlier point that the questions in this book are way more varied you know and give you a better overall bigger picture of the chapter and it doesn't only focus on the proof questions because while you might you know have a pretty good grasp on the proof questions you know so in the exam there might be a theory question and then you'll be stuck because you didn't practice the theorem part that would be a problem and you'd use marks overall i'd say that this is a pretty good book cheap option and if you have some trouble buying the other books which are ex might be expensive to you then i suggest that you buy this book it's a very well made book i recommend it it was pretty helpful to me i'll leave a link to buy this book in the description and that's it thank you for watching my video Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it and goodbye.